Welcome back to The Merge, the wrestling guide for jiu-jitsu, powered by Fuji Sports. So what I wanted to discuss today was when and when not to split your hands in a single leg from the offensive man's perspective. Uh, the pros and cons behind it, when to do it, when not to. Uh, a lot of times I see this being the difference maker in some folks being able to finish their takedown or not. All right, so the position I'm talking about is specifically when we're standing in a single leg from here. Now this can be uh, a position we get to from either a scramble, I wrestle up from bottom, or I just take a shot. Um, one of the first things I wanna talk about, splitting your hands. I don't wanna split my hands unless I'm either going for a finish and taking my opponent down, uh, or if I'm going to advance my position. For example, if I'm gonna advance my position from here, bring the ankle up into the armpit, try and finish. When I split my hands, um, essentially losing two things. I'm losing 50% of my strength in my arm, holding up this heavy leg, and I'm also losing 50% of the control that I would have on this leg with both arms. Um, having this with one arm just takes a lot of control and strength away from me finishing this takedown. Uh, back when I was even watching the Third Coast Grappling Kumite 5, Tyra Tulo, you know, his wrestling's been increasing every time I see him step on the mat, um, but for a split second or two, he did you know, unhinge his hands, have one arm and a single leg, and Roberto was able to kind of kick that leg out. You know, kind of comparing this to more of an armbar situation, if I'm going for an armbar on someone and I you know, change my grip and take one arm off, I'm essentially using 50% of my arm, 50% of my strength to finish the armbar. And really, we're just talking about a single body part here. When we get into an actual takedown on someone's leg, we're talking about fighting their, their leg, their thigh, their hips, their, their, their arms, their sprawl, basically their whole body. So to use one arm, um, you know, in a, in a shot to try and finish or just in general to hang out, it's a ton of pressure on your arm. So try your best to not split your hands unless you're going to finish or unless you're going to get yourself into a better, more controlled spot. So think about that. Don't split your hands unless you're finishing or you're getting into a better position. So just showing two examples here. We're in our stance. I'm gonna take a single leg. Let's say the first one I just wanna advance, split my hands for a quick second, arm in the arm, or leg in the armpit, I can now try and finish. Second example here, I take my sweep single. Let's say I wanna do a quick thigh pry. I'm gonna let go of my hands for a quick second just to get the finish and score. Thanks for tuning in. For more episodes and more videos, check out The Merge on social media, and you can go to themergeonline.com to subscribe for free. I'll see you guys next time.